Hey guys, what's up? It's TJ from Seton Hall Men's Volleyball. Um, last time I chatted with you guys, it was about uh, a week in our life and to see what you know practice and stuff like that was like. But we've actually made it to the end of our season, and we did a really, really good job this year, being that we qualified for regionals, and then we're also going as a team all the way out to St. Louis for nationals. So that's pretty much what I'm going to cover in this video and uh, show you like our postseason and how we're going to finish up probably one of the best uh, Seton Hall club volleyball program years that we've had so far. So all that can be simply packed into your backpack and what you're wearing the following day. So this right here is all the stuff I'm going to have and uh, it's actually getting later in the day. Um, we have a really early morning tomorrow for the Shippensburg Regional Tournament which is what we have on Saturday. So. Gonna get a early, early bedtime tonight, and then uh, I will talk to you guys in the morning. See ya. Hey guys, good morning. Um, it is 5:02, and uh, just got um, out the shower and got ready really quick. Um, gathering all my stuff now, and now it's time to go to school. So right now we just got our uh, pre-trip Wawa. We got Eric in our car. We got Francis in the back seat. Uh, everybody else is uh, quickly departed from Wawa except for Jair, who's just back there. Um, so right now we're gonna take some time to enjoy this morning snack before we hit the road. So we just got our first rest stop in. We're probably about an hour or so into the trip. We stopped at a turkey hill. Eric couldn't wait. Just <laughs> <laughs> so at this point in our excursion, Eric is on his second pee. Uh, pulled out and now he's over there enjoying the Pennsylvania wilderness. Um, yeah, we so we talked about leaving him twice. <laughs> We should. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna leave Erica. <laughs> I mean, shit, he's coming, he's back. coming back. See ya. <laughs> so we made it out here, Shippensburg, made it to the rec center. Three of us at least. We gotta find our team now. Yeah, the ship rec center. Honestly, not not too horrible of a campus, but uh. We're transferring here. Yeah, we're thinking about it. They got a lot of green, <laughs> a lot of green. But yeah, no, we're gonna go find our team. We'll let you guys know what happens next. So everybody's uh, everybody's settling in here. Everybody's everybody's get that more. What's up, big guy? Good, baby. Good. Everybody's getting ready out here. Stretch a little bit. Get the balls. This is our court for today. First game versus Kutztown, getting the W at Regionals. Play G Red. Yep. Tell him, tell him. Hi, Kim. How we feel about that first win, Francis? Amazing. JD? Lit. There you go. It's not like, it's not like. <laughs> oh my. And now we're about to play Penn College, so we'll see how that goes. Checking with you guys out of that game. Just finished our second game. Uh, it's just a match against uh, yeah, Penn College. We beat them as well. How are we all feeling? Everybody feeling good? Everybody feeling fresh? Good. JD. Yeah. How we feel about that dub, baby? Yeah. 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 Tell them, baby. Two. Tell them. Two, baby. Tell them. Tell them. What's up, Ray? How we feel about that dub? Feeling good? Now, as our favorite geriatric, do you have any advice for the team as we go on in this tournament? Don't get old. Don't get old. Okay. That's some good advice. That's some great advice. Now on to our youth, who will soon take over the program. Cameron Sipple, how do we feel about that game, baby? That game, I was unsatisfied. Unsatisfied? We went on our best. We played well, but we went on our best. So. I like that. I like I that. We just got to keep playing, keep doing defense, uh, get tips. Now we got to pick up tips. Uh, other than that, we're playing, we're swinging great, we're blocking great. We just got to capitalize on everything. That's what we like to hear from one of our greats. One of our greats, Cameron Sipple. All right. 
All right, so we'll check in with you after we're done our, uh, our, done our next game. I think we got a little lunch break in between, so. So we're at Nationals right now. Uh, right in front of me, I got Connor and Cam we're going to check out the uh, Shipwreck Center. Shipwreck. Yeah. You like that name, Connor? T tell the people how much you like that name. It's a great name. It's a great name. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. So it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be us in Abington. Beautiful. Here, I'm gonna zoom in so we can get this on the uh, video. Semi-finals, final. It could be anybody. No, no, sorry, no, sorry. Westchester or Shippensburg. Of both teams that I would like to play. Westchester three. I could say. I'm getting all these pools and how everybody did in the video so that next year we'll have something. Nice. There we go. Seton Hall right down Three there. Three and baby. Three and oh. That's what you like to see. Do Don't it for the kids. Pool. I feel like there's got to be like a um, subway nearby because I saw a family with a subway. So Cam, <laughs> he's gonna give us the tour. Visitor parking is taken very seriously. Right the, there. The campus map here. And nowhere else. Yep. Disability parking. If you have disabilities, you this can is find true. it right there. There. Oh no, those are all. Oh, wait, so Sophia's so, Those are handcuffed. Those are handicapped. Hello, Sophia. I'm guess who I'm with. Guess who I'm with. Guess who? Guess. Alright, so it's lunchtime. We got a little intermission here uh, between pool play and uh, playoffs, uh, which I believe is semis. Uh, Jair snacking over here. Jair, what do we got? Funyuns? Yep. Alright. So, quick update, um, did pretty well in our pool, and uh, we clinched our pool, we won 3-0, and and then uh, we went to the semi semifinals, and in the semifinals we lost to um, Penn State, uh, Abington. Very good team, so we're finished in the top six in our conference, which puts us in a really good place for Nationals next week. So. Uh, I will probably talk to you guys after I pack for nationals. We got a long car ride home, so uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey guys, what's up? It's TJ again. I am just checking in. Um, last time I spoke to you guys was after our regional tournament on Sunday, which was yesterday. Um, well, two days ago now, I guess. Um, we placed sixth in our conference, which is better than we've ever done before. So that's super exciting, and that's a, that puts us in a good mindset for Nationals, which is what we're heading to um, tonight, actually. It's 12.44 a.m. right now. Um, I had just finished a bunch of my homework that I'm doing for the upcoming weeks, um, and especially this week because we're missing so much. Um, but right now, uh, this is the itinerary I'm going over for a trip that I typed up, and then uh, here's a suitcase. So I will check back with you guys uh, in a hot minute once I have more of this packed up. Hey guys, what's up? Got my snacks for the road. Uh, we have uh, all my suitcase and uh, my backpack and my clothes and stuff like that in the camera bag. So we're pretty much ready to rock and roll at this point. Um, it is 5.30 uh, with a couple of seconds in. And I now have to wait uh, just about two hours and we will be I'll be getting picked up actually probably around seven. And then we'll be meeting up at the school with the rest of the team for us to all start our departure. I don't know when we're gonna stop or where we're gonna stop, so I'll you know update you guys as, as we go along, but it's about 15 hours, so you'll probably get, honestly, like I won't really include that much in the video. I'll probably include like maybe like a minute's worth of our travel, but 
it's gonna be a lot. So I'll uh, I'll keep you guys informed. Um, other than that, peace. Remember on the same JD, line. everyone's getting ready. Tony's car all packed up. Everybody's ready to rock. Oh my! Yeah, wait. Oh, look at the. Think, oh. Does everybody have everything. Oh. Yes. So nice. Student ID. I have two student IDs. Yeah, I have my student IDs as well. We got all the bags packed in there. If anybody needs one, yeah, Jair's got two. Yeah. All right, everybody ready? Getting ready to hit the road. Yeah, baby. How are we feeling? Cam. Feeling good. Ready for the road? Let's do it. Let's get it, baby. Oh, okay. Sure. Word. All right. So we've actually reached our first stop, I didn't even think it wasn't cool. which is a rest station uh, somewhere in PA right now. Middle of nowhere. In PA. Middle of effing nowhere. Ugh. This ride has already been. To, we've already. I think we're on what our our third, our two and a half hours now. We're on like hours. Right now. Yeah. How's a ride? How's a ride, fellas? Great. So our first stop out of state here. So you can see our little souvenir aisle. We got uh, some Pennsylvania-esque shot glasses, some bells, some you know whistles and stuff. Kevin joined the trip, staying hydrated. Little Franny, same deal. Ray checking out the snacks. <laughs> okay, so Grandpa didn't get the Rolios, so we're already we're already. He didn't get any hard candy for the road. <laughs> So hey guys, um, we just came from our second... We're just outside Pittsburgh. Yeah. This is our second rest stop. For we're filling up on stop. gas. Yep. Some gas. And now we're, we're, get out of we're here. getting on the road. It's midnight. Yeah, it is 12.05. 12.05. We've officially been on the road for just over... Just... To actually, just under five hours. Yeah. We're about to... It's going by pretty fast. Fit. Okay, so the last time I checked in with you guys, we were in the wonderful state of Pennsylvania, my home state, but now we've actually just crossed the border into West Virginia, and we're stopping at the rest center real quick. Uh, all the guys are going to take a quick break, use the restroom, and uh, after that, we will probably get back on the road. I just finished a three-hour shift, um, but yeah, we are officially in West Virginia, the top corner of it. Because we're going to be crossing into Ohio soon, I guess. I think that's what's next. I, I genuinely don't know. I'm pretty tired at this point. But, yeah, I finally get a, get a nap a little bit. And then, um, before I know, we should be there. Here comes the rest of the, the Motley crew. <laughs> oh, I don't mind driving through the night, but Cam, Cam is more than ready. Is Jeremy still asleep? Now we are driving through uh, downtown Columbus, which is the biggest city in Ohio. Big, big buildings, but uh, unfortunately we are quickly leaving in the dust as Kevin enjoys his thorough nap. Cameron's taking over for a bit. We just passed into the state of Illinois, the land of Lincoln, as many of you may know. Abraham. And there is not much here. No. Kevin's driving. We've been sleeping. Francis, what do you think of our uh, our trip so far? It's been great. I just took a three-hour nap. Three-hour nap. Yeah. We, uh... We're driving and co-piloting from like 1.30 to 5 a.m. And we crossed uh, from Ohio into Indiana and then these guys took over. And now we've crossed from Indiana into Illinois. And what a beautiful sight it is. All right, we'll catch up with you later, folks. I got my camera. No, 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 no. Francis. What are we gonna get for breakfast today? You know what? Cool Denny's. Denny's. What are you gonna get at Denny's? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? Yeah. Okay. You got any inkling of just what you kind of want to eat? Um, maybe like a one eye hop. I don't know. <laughs> this is Denny's. One eye hop. 
See, that's the kid that we just don't bring in on this. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy doesn't know the difference. JD, what are we gonna have for breakfast today? What are we? Oh, okay. bold. Oh. I'm gonna tape this for the kids. Yeah. Wait. So very good. While while most other normal adults, I can still see TJ doing this with his family. Like all his kids. The kids make a vlog. Hey Cam, you're adopted. All right. All right. We are getting off the main drag, which is the I-70, which pretty much took us the entire way here, and we are now on the other freeway. Oh, huh. uh, we're still on the 70. My bad. Uh, but we are in St. Louis. We are going to our hotel by the airport, and we are officially wrapped up with this trip. We have reached our destination, folks. After a long, long overnight trek, yeah, we have braved the Midwest, braved the nighttime, and braved or worse for TJ you. driving our car, and we are doing just fine. What the hell? <laughs> okay, gang. So, uh, I'm gonna be brutally honest here. <laughs> Today was a busy day, and I forgot the camera in the car. But I did capture a lot on my phone, so I'm gonna be updating it through uh, my phone, which I'm gonna download onto my laptop. So that'll be nice and easy. But we finished our uh, practice session for the day. Did pretty well. Cam swung pretty well. Kev swung pretty well. Pretty much everybody did a good job, with the exception of you know a few minor tweaks that we gotta work on, just because you know we're a little a little rusty. Had a 15-hour drive and then had a long day before our practice, so um, you know. But good start. Um, excited for what tomorrow holds. We got a really early morning tomorrow, and uh, try and update you with uh, pool play uh, stats and how everything's going. So, all right. Until then. So this is the room. Uh, we got some nice beds. It's actually it's actually pretty uh, it's actually pretty big. Um, let's see what kind of view we have here. Wow, look at this parking look at lot. All those chickens. Look at all those chickens. God, I can never okay. use any okay. of the film that you're So right now it is day two that we are here and it is 6.08 a.m. Everybody's getting ready. JD's got all his stuff together. Jeremy's still a little sleepy in his bed. And Franny's in the bathroom. So today's our first day of pool play. So we have our first uh, first set at 8. So we're all getting ready now. And we're supposed to get over there by 7 so that we're nice and warm by the time uh, by the time it's getting ready to go. Oh, did you feel anything with uh, ice? Yeah, I don't think It'll be, it should be okay. Yeah, if it got cold overnight, it's fine. I can't bring the core in anyway, so they would've just been like... Well, I mean, we could have kept going back up in the middle. Yeah. So dang it, eh. Alright. Alright, let's roll out. Okay, and then we're gonna keep... Oh, Zoe! Did you call me? Hey, Brené. Hey, you said you got a camera? Oh, I'm leaving. Well, that means I'm using it today. Yeah, we're just out. Wait, let me see the other side. Do either of them have a screw on the bottom? I might be able to use it for this. Yes, they all have, they both have screws. Yeah, I had the one. Yeah, I had the thing on this. It does have the, it has the spinny thing on the bottom? Yes. Thing? Beautiful. I might use this thing. Yeah. Awesome, you're the best. What's up? Now you good. Here you go, water, some snacks.
Show your wrist hands, guys. I want them to touch them. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got check your right here, my friend. I think we should all yell out a big jersey year. You know that jersey year? Year! So what I meant by biggest stage, guys? Literally. <laughs> the biggest stage in the NFL. Before we No, nah, we're over there. That's where they're gonna Damn, I want to play here. This is where the championship is. So. Yeah, yeah, this looks nice. Okay, so we just finished our first game of pool play against, um, who we play? Oh, we played Brown University the Ivy League, and we beat them. So we're 1 0. We went two games. We just won the first one, won the second one. Uh, so, so far, so good. And we will let you guys know. I know next we play the, uh, I think it's Missouri State University. Yeah, I think we play them next. So I'll keep you guys informed on how we do. Take care. All right, day one. Saturday night. We go two and one yeah, no, in our pool. Three. That's pretty damn good. What do you oh, think? Yeah. It's amazing. We're pretty hyped about it. Woo! How we feeling, Jeremy? You know, I just doing your thing. <laughs> I mean, like, look at the, this man. It's just so fresh. Never stops being fresh. And now the old people. Old people don't really talk on camera. See, they all kind of walk away. Yeah. Yeah. See, so yeah, yeah. I knew that was gonna. Happen. Cam, how we feeling about the first three games? A little frustrated our, we went 2 and 1. Way, yeah. We should have won. We should have been 3 and 0. Right. But other than that, our wins have been out of our minds. So I, I agree. I agree. Just make sure I agree. Your shit down. Played like an animal. MVP of today's pool play, Cameron Sipple. And then uh, over here, we have our uh, team pastor. That's right. Now, do yes. you believe that God was truly on our side today when we were playing this pool I game? I do. I do. I think he was on our side in all three of our games. Yeah. Okay. Do you think? Incredible. So we have now finished um, the majority of our things to do today. We watched uh, Cam's brother play for Oregon, but now we are waiting in line for the long sleeve dry fit uh, shirts. Just trying to hang out, grab a little, grab a little souvenir for the road. Uh, Franny, how are we feeling? A little sore? Hungry. Hungry. Now an accurate, uh, you know, an accurate word to describe. You know, how we feel right now isn't just hunger, it's we've reached the, the brink of starvation. So, 
We left our hotel probably somewhere. Around, yeah. You know, he only, you know, most people only had a muffin. Uh, some people had less. We left our hotel with little to no breakfast and have now reached well past lunch. So if we don't make it, this video will be the last of our, of our legacy. <laughs> I've never eaten that. Is that seven food? No. Is it really good? Definitely. No, because I... Like some sausage. Like, that's like... Going to get like sandwiches. Sour, that's like... Uh, I did. How's it? Good call. But I had that 132 that was wild. <laughs> and I totally met. Kept it up. Before that episode, but still. I didn't know you have a name. Game day, round two. Everybody ready? Yeah, okay, Jeremy, good talk. Jeremy's good. JD. I'm putting ass open on these boys today? Oh, see, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. We have playoffs today, and then tomorrow we leave. Uh, yesterday, we went uh, two and two, which was pretty good. Finished uh, four and three, so now we just gotta go into playoffs today. See how many we can win. See if we can come on top of the silver bracket. We're going. And hit the gas. Can I get my tripod? Oh no, it's cold as hell. Alright guys, everybody ready? Last, last day, big playoff day. Let's get this money. Right old man Ray? Right TJ. Words of wisdom from our oldest. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, boys. First playoff dub. How's everybody feeling? Everybody feeling good? Tony's feeling indifferent. Feeling good, baby. So right now we're watching uh, Penn State versus George Washington while we wait for our second playoff game. We won our first against... Um, who's our first? Who's our first one again? Who did we just beat? Sienna. Sienna. We played the regular season, so that was good. Tony, how we feel about how we feel about beating Sienna? I just ate some almonds. He had some almonds. He's, he's all nutritioned up for the next game. Everybody went and got a quick uh, breakfast bite. And uh, now we're going to play Georgia, the University of Georgia Bulldogs. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we got a second playoff game coming up soon, right after this one. If Penn State pulls out this one, then we're going to have to watch a third game. Give us some more time to rest, which is what we're hoping for. So, all right, we'll check back after the Georgia game. Okay, so we just won our second playoff game uh, in a nail biter against Georgia. Uh, we lost the first game and then won the second and then the third. We were like back and forth all the way until the end. But we won 15 to 12, I think. So yeah, big nail biter. And now we're watching uh, Cam's twin play on Oregon. There's Cam and then there's twin. Yeah, well, one of the triplets. Truly, truly was a good trip. We get good volleyball weekend for sure. Yeah, good volleyball weekend. We played some real good volleyball, probably some of the best we played all year. And uh, we were really happy to beat SEC powerhouse Georgia. Exactly. Exactly. We were, just being, we were happy to be a big 12 trip. powerhouse at Golden State. Yeah, that was that was a little brutal. There's no OK State, but you know we we came out. Gave it our all. Can't complain. And now we're about to hit the road. We're we'll the stuff. We're all headed out to the car right now. talent volleyball in the nation right now so um, you know I, I know I missed out on a lot of clips for this uh, for this video uh, but you know it, it was all about the experience for us first and foremost not about getting all the tape that I wanted maybe next year um, hopefully next year we're trying to get out of here as well and I'll do a better video but uh, this year we were primarily focused on playing our game and focusing on that rather than video we get home uh, back in South Orange. Take care.